Presley here with an idea for producing the uh, spring snakes out of your bare hands. When I worked at a magic shop through college, um, I used to spend uh, most of my days cramming these things back into peanut cans. It's an old uh, gag, the snake in a in a in the peanut can. Um, and uh, if, if you're familiar with the gag, then you know that there is a version on the market made with these high quality spring snakes. It's a metal spring covered with uh, cloth material. Um, it's yellow, so it shows up well uh, from stage. This is what I use in uh, my birthday party shows. My character is terrified of snakes. So uh, when these, these things start popping up uh, throughout the show and, and the kids see a grown man get uh, scared by uh, these little guys, uh, that they, they are rolling on the floor uh, in, in laughter. Um, but my idea uh, came back when I was in college. Uh, I wanted a way to produce uh, these um, without having to use the snake can or without having to reach into my prop case and quickly bunch it up before bringing it out to produce it. Um, and that's when I came up with this device. Now this is my original prototype uh, that, I, that I came up with and it served me well uh, for the past uh, several years. Um, and I've had no reason to reinvent the wheel, uh, so I just use my, the original prototype. Um, what it is is a little Gatorade cap, um, a strap from a backpack, and a gator clip like you would find on a convention badge or um, conference badge. Um, just one of those little guys and I've attached the clip and the piece of strap on opposite sides of the Gatorade cap using rivets so it's not going to pull loose. You may want to try screws or uh, glue or, or some other form of attaching these. Um, rivets, uh, these have held up very well over the years. Um, so basically that's the gimmick and this is how you load it. You take your spring snake and you just work him down into the cap. Get in there like that. You stretch the strap over the snake and then you clip it into the gator clip. And that's it. That is your load. The load can then be hidden in your pocket or you can put it in your prop case and then you steal your load out later in your show when you're ready to produce it and you hold it kind of in a finger palm or thumb palm position with the clip at the base of your palm and so that just with a slight pressure pew, it flies loose. Let me show you that up close. You see the clip? Just a slight bit of pressure from my palm will open the clip releasing the spring allowing it to fly across the room. Now that is my gimmick for producing um, a spring snake from your seemingly bare hands. Um, if I was to remake this uh, today I would probably make it out of better materials. Um, um, so if if you want to try to make one yourself I suggest instead of a Gatorade cap maybe going to Home Depot or Lowe's and buying a PVC uh, uh, pipe end cap um, and they come in different diameters so depending on uh, the kind of spring snake you're using if it's a bigger diameter spring snake you can get a bigger end cap uh, it's sturdier material so you can screw into it versus having to rivet like I did here um, but uh, let's see what else would I do differently um, oh for stealing the load if you're gonna uh, steal this load out of your pocket um, I've, I've never had to do this because I've always uh, got it out of my prop case, but if you want to steal it from your pocket, you may add a loop uh, fishing line. And that way, instead of digging into your pocket and, and, and trying to find the, the prop by digging in your pocket, that fishing line sticking out of your pocket, all you got to do is pass by with your thumb, catch the um, fishing line with your thumb, and the, the load will slip right out of your pocket up into your hand. So the load comes to you versus you having to go digging for it. Um, um, what else? Uh, ditching the gimmick. Uh, ditching the gimmick has never been an issue for me. Because um, once you release that spring snake, if it works the way it should, that spring goes flying and all attention is on what it is and where is it going. Um, they, 
that's where the attention is. You could take this, slip it in your pocket, toss it over in your prop case. Nobody cares what's in your hands after that spring snake's released. Um, also, if, if you are self-conscious about your the gimmick, you can paint it flesh-colored um, um, so that it blends in a little bit better in your hand. It's not going to, you know, what is that? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, over the years, I've um, modified it a little bit. Uh, the end of my strap began to fray after some use. So what I did was I took and I dipped it in uh, some rubber paint. And that not, on, not only stopped it from fraying, but it also gave it more grip in the clip. So I don't have to worry about it slipping out of the clip as easily until I want it to. Um, but that is my gimmick for producing a spring snake from your bare hands. Since I came up with this idea um, several years ago, um, there has been a commercial uh, product released um, by Chance Wolf called Insta Snake. Um, I've never seen his gimmick. Um, I, I've only seen uh, performance uh, with it. So I don't know how, how familiar or, or how similar his gimmick is to the one I came up with. Um, but everything I've ever seen by chance uh, uh, is, is high quality. He makes amazing props. And um, even though um, uh, I have no reason to buy it, um, I, I would highly recommend uh, his props, especially if um, you don't want to invest the time and energy in, in sourcing these pieces and trying to put it together yourself. I would highly recommend uh, Chance Wolf's Insta Snake. Um, it, it is a larger snake, uh, so it, it would show a, a lot bigger um, than this, this little contraption. Um, and, and I know $65 may sound like a lot um, to a, a DIYer like you and me, um, but with Chance Wolf, uh, I, I would say it's worth every penny um, for his Insta Snake. So um, if you don't want to try to make it yourself, um, I, I highly recommend... Uh, going over to wolfmagic.com and, and, and investing in uh, Insta Snake.